the products and the checkout, it's a little bit quirky how they go together. So I'm going to show you all of that. So first of all, I'm over here under payments. You can do invoices, subscriptions, coupons, etc. but I'm under products. So you put in the name, the description, physical goods, digital goods, service. Almost everything I do is one of those two. You can put an image if you want to. This is what will appear on customers' credit card statements. So if you want to put something there, that will be easy for them to recognize. Pricing name. I, I got confused by this. Go ahead and just put exactly the same as the product name here, because this is what's going to show up on the checkout. So one time I just put like cost and it was like, oh, uh, well, that's not what I wanted to say. So just put the name of the product. And then it can be recurring, it can be one time, you put the amount, um, you can add more of a description, you can make it a membership offer, select the membership that they get access to from there. And then when you create it and it's on this list, you can also do more stuff with it from here. So you can add another price point. And yeah, so we've got, I've got my Stripe and my PayPal connected. I think there was more you could do here. Yeah, bullying period, how often, if it is recurring. Um, trial period, so you can have before it charges them, there can be some amount, stuff like that. So once you have those set up, then you add them to your pages. This is an example page that's within a funnel, and this is a checkout box. So we would just add the checkout. It can be a two-step, a one-step. With two-step, we've got, you know, they fill in part and then it goes to number two, and it's under advanced here that you can set those all up. So you can put whatever title you want here. You can decide if you want anything here. You can hide the company name, show the company name. You can hide the phone number, show the phone number. You can put in an order bump. You have to set this up ahead of time. Step number two, you know, put whatever you want here. Now here you see it just says dynamic item. So you don't actually add the product in here. And that is what is, like I said, quirky. Here's where we're gonna add it. So this is the same page here under the funnels section. And here it says products. This is where we'll add in the products that we already created. And see, this is the one that I said cost. It's going to come out looking so wrong. Um, and if you want to customize things, you can do that here. Um, you can make this a bump product. So then we can go in and get it. Or it's a main product. We can add multiple products. If we do that, then they're going to have a little check mark. Oops. All right, so now that I've done that, let's take another look at what this page looks like. And of course I did the two-step one, which was a terrible idea, because then I have to actually go in and do it. So let's change that to a one-step. Because then we'll be able to actually see it. Save that. Okay, so like I said, put the name of the actual product there. They can choose both, they can choose one or the other, whatever it is. So that's where the products come in on a funnel. Now, same principle applies on the website's pages. So this is my page here for all services. So that's under websites. And here instead of a, you can put the checkout form here, but what I've done is I've attached this to the pop-up, open pop-up, and then the pop-up here has the order form on it. So this is where I've added that. And same thing, it says dynamic item. Where are we gonna put that dynamic item for this one? We are gonna put it under here, this little dot, 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 products. So this is the product that is specific to this 
page. Okay. And then it pops this up and there's that item right there in there. So that is how you connect your products. And now I'm gonna go test out how to do the e-commerce with the cart option. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a client that has a bunch of actual physical products. So we are gonna test out setting up a store within Clickslow here. All right, so let me start by shop page a few products, but I think those were test ones that I put in. Ugh, product name is going to save me on time. We don't want that. Oh, it's going to take forever to add all this stuff. We've not made it far at all. <laughs> oh, how do we want to do this? Okay, so it has enable cart mode set up. What does that mean? does this do? Did nothing happened? But why? Is that meant to be after? Did that work? <laughs> Did I buy two things out of the same? <laughs> okay, upsell. So it looks like that did add it on, but it didn't give us any kind of confirmation. Maybe I need to do like a another page of confirmation. <laughs> I looked up what enable cart mode means, and all it means is that you can put multiple products and multiple options will show up here. I also um, put test for the price override. So I'm not quite sure the function of that, but I just put that word there. I don't know if there's some kind of special, I'm not sure. So if we don't have cart mode enabled on that page, let's see what happens. I don't know what the purpose of Oh, so you can't pick both. Okay, so enable cart mode is you can select multiple of the products and not enable cart mode means you have to pick one out of the options. I could see some uses for that. However, uh, in terms of e-commerce, this is not very helpful, but Shopify. Okay, so there's an integration with Shopify and I think that's going to be the only way to make uh, click slow, go high, go high level, um, growth tools function as an e-commerce platform. So I'll have to see what the additional pricing is for this to see if my client will be willing to use that. Cause otherwise we might have to get super creative with the workarounds to make this shop actually work. <laughs> 